One of the first things that we're going to cover is obviously just logging into your account, what needs to be done. Um, Chuck went through the whole API with you. Now we actually get to see it in action um, in here and whatnot. So uh, has anybody tried uh, adding the SWIC to the Flex project, everything like that, been able to do that? Uh, if anybody really hasn't, um, all you would really want to do is underneath your, your uh, project folder here, you can go into properties. And you want to go to uh, build path and underneath your library build path, you'll just, whatever you downloaded your SWIC, you'll just easily add the SWIC right here and you got the Rivet API into your, into your uh, project there. So when you have an application tag, the first thing you need to do is create a namespace for the uh, Ribbit API so you can access all of the properties, all the methods, and events that are coming back. So we're simply just going to call this Ribbit, and uh, we're going to just import it in. It's just com.ribbit.api, and the dot star is you're importing everything in. Then the first thing that we always need to create is a access point to the Ribbit request um, API here. So we call the API and uh, call the Ribbit request and we're gonna give it an ID of request. And now we'll access this portion of the code in all of our functions just by this ID name here. Um, here are actually the events that we'll be listening for as they're coming back. We have logging in. Um, we're listening for the Ribbit server connected event that's gonna be coming back. Uh, call connected, uh, call disconnected, call hung up. So as you're, they were kind of going through earlier, this example doesn't have anything with contacts, so we're not listening for anything to happen with any of the contact stuff or even answering a call or the incoming call function or anything like that. So you can just state just a few functions that you're listening to so you can make your uh, example or your, your application uh, work just for you. So as you can see, once we're listening for this, say like Ribbit Server Connected, uh, all we're doing is just telling it what function to actually go to uh, in this code. And here with Call Connected, you'll actually see we're going to call a handle call connected function and we're going to actually pass the event into it. And this event's actually going to hold all of our call object that we're going to uh, then handle in that function, display it how we want to and everything like that. So the first thing that obviously needs to do is we need to log in. Let me go ahead and compile this really quick. Okay, so here we just have a username, password, and a login button. Really uh, simple. Pull this back so you can see a little bit more. So all we're gonna do is take that username, password, text, and pass it in. Here's the ID of our ribbit request, which is just request.login. So once we've logged in, and we actually kind of get the uh, server connected back, you know, we're gonna change basically the status that's on the, the page, and also uh, make the call button enabled here. Um, here's actually our make call. As you can see here on, we have a, a little text box here so you can put in your phone number. This make call will actually become highlighted once you've uh, actually been connected to the server here. And so all we need to do is just do a request.make call and we're just going to take the number and actually just go ahead and dial. And you saw this example a little bit earlier with uh, you know, Chuck trying to call Walgreens and pizza and nobody was there on Sunday morning. So, uh, Next thing that will actually happen is once the call makes it out there, we've actually made the call out to the uh, Ribbit API, we're going to be listening for the call connected. So when people pick up on the other end, we're going to get the event back call connected. And that's what we're listening for right up here in our uh, ribbit request is our call connected and we're just gonna pass that back down to the handle call connected event. And so all we're doing is taking that uh, object that's passed back in the event and it's a call object. So now we can really pretty much do anything we want to with that. Uh, in the API you can see all the different elements of the, the call object. Um, so basically just the call itself, we're gonna just say that's the active call. Um, just do a simple um, connected call status and uh, also enable the hang up button. So once we've actually hung up or the other line has actually hung up, an event comes back to through ribbit request, 
called uh, uh, call hung up. That we're actually listening for with the handle disconnected function. And so basically, we're just going to kind of end the call, create a new empty call object, and um, just say that make a status that's ended. Okay, so let's just kind of see this in action really quick. All right, so basically our make call button got enabled here, and now we can make a phone call out. This is my cell phone number, so let's try and see. I don't I have it probably on vibrate, but uh, basically the, this is just a regular flash. Uh, let your microphone uh, take over, and you can use that. So now it's, it's, it's buzzing, if you can kind of hear it. So it's buzzing, it's making a call out, and we call hung up there or hang up. Now we're done. Uh, we got that function back, and that's the application right there. So pretty simple, uh, straightforward with the methods and events that are happening with the actual uh, make a call.